So yesterday, it's Sunday, and I'm checking for the Red Hulk on Pop Finder because BrickSeek doesn't work worth a damn shit anymore. So I'm on Pop Finder. I put in my little zip code. I put in the damn DPCI code for Red Hulk. Zero. Zero in stock. Zero. Fuck you. Fuck off. Eat shit. Zero. All in my area, within like a 25 mile radius. So it's Monday. I'm working in the morning, working on a little work video. I was like, you know what? Why the f not? I'm gonna go ahead and put in the DPCI to Pop Finder, put in my little fing zip code. Bam! There's three in stock, two miles down the fing road. What? Three in stock. I get my ass in the car, I start driving there. I call him, because I don't want to miss out. I call him. I talk to my boy John, who works in toys at this store. He's like, yeah, I got three in stock. He came in on the truck this morning. You coming here? I was like, you bet your fucking sweet ass I'm coming there right now. This is Red Hulk. General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross mustache man bet your sweet ass I'm coming there right now I'm in the car he's like well I'm gonna go back there I'm gonna find him and I'm gonna come out with those three figures so you better be here and I was like don't worry about me John I'll be there so I show up I'm like where where's the fuck is John huh I'm looking for John. I'm going down every aisle. Where the fuck is John? Huh? So I go to electronics. And I'm like, hey, I just talked to someone on the phone about a Red Hulk. He's like, Psh. Psh. we don't got that. We don't got that. People trying to kill me for that thing. And I said, well, I talked to a guy named John. And he said, you got three in stock. He's like, John, you there? You got a customer out here that said he's looking for a Red Hulk. Then I turn around, big tall dude. If you're watching the video, tall dude was cool. Tall dude came in, he was like, you looking for the Red Hulk? I'm like, yeah, I'm looking for the Red Hulk. He's like, I just went to the one in Plano. They got six in stock. One guy bought four, F that guy. The other guy bought two, F him too. So tall dude didn't get one there. So he hustled over to my Target. John comes out. John's got a little cart, a little push cart. He's like, is it just you two guys? We're like, hell yeah, it's just us two. He goes, cool, because I want the third. So you know what, guys? Persistence, a little bit of luck, a lot of bit of luck, pays off with this. Son of a bitch! Make their head drop. What's up, guys? Uh, this is just freaking ridiculous right now. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you saw this. So, I'll get to that in a second. But uh, you see this tower... Tower of Toys right here! There's another tower behind it! What?! Two towers! Friggin' Lord of the Rings! Let's get started with the comic books first. <clears throat> I can't go longer than a week without doing one of these videos because then you get stacks of comics, two towers of toys, Jeez Louise, Punisher Soviet number four, right there. I haven't started it, so I can't tell you if it's any good or not, but it is uh, Garth Ennis. So if you like his stuff, you might like it. Star Wars number three, The Journey Back to Cloud City. I think they're starting to jump the shark on that comic book a little bit. They're starting to, they're starting to push the envelope on all of these adventures that occurred between movies. All of these occurrences, coincidences, 
Kowinky dinks, if you will. Pushing the, pushing the envelope a little bit there. This is Wolverine number one. That's a big, thick ass book right there. And that's a cool cover. Wolverine number one. Thick. Thickness. X Force. There's Colossus and Butts McGee right there. Domino. And I got X. Oh, that's X Men. X Men. Number seven. Right there. With uh, a. Is that Apocalypse? Apocalypse. And uh, there's. Is that Kurt? Is that uh, Nightcrawler? It's a weird cover. Giant size X-Men number one. Not the one that's like $900, but this one right here, the new one, this is a variant cover. I got the variant cover. This has got Emma, sweet Emma, sweet, sweet Emma. You got Storm and it's got Jean. That's a cool costume for Jean, gotta say. Uh, Batman. So I caught up on Batman. So I dropped Batman after the Tom King run ended because I was going to take a little break on Batman. But apparently the Tinian run's been pretty damn good. They're introducing new characters left and right. The books are just going stupid. Speculator stupid on the uh, secondary market. So I got Batman 86. This is the first Tinian, uh, first issue of the Tinian run after the King run. And then I got 87. Sidney Crosby's number right there, 87, because I'm wearing a hockey jersey and I just did a freaking Rippin' Pucks video. Hey, check out Rippin' Pucks, by the way. Shameless plug for, I only have like 100 and, I don't know, 170 subs on there. If you like hockey, check it out, because I have a lot of fun with those videos. Batman number 88, David Posternock's number. How long am I going to do this for? Deathstroke on the cover. Batman and Deathstroke. And then we got uh, this one, frickin', this one apparently is already worth like 40 or 50 bucks because of some new character that got introduced, Punchline, and people built it up, and now the damn book's frickin' skyrocketing, and they're probably onto like a fifth print, ridiculous, speculators, speculators, flipping this shit on the frickin' market, causing stress. Batman Curse of the White Knight, issue seven. Kind of got a, I don't know, like an Errol Flynn look to that cover. No one got that reference because I'm old as fuck. Deceased Unkillables number one of three, right there. I really like the uh, Deceased uh, miniseries, the one that came out. So I'm going to give that one a shot, see if it's any good. It's only three issues, so what the hey. Justice League 41, Eradicator with the Daxamites. Daxum, playing at Daxum, playing all the hits. And then Justice League number 42, more, errat more Eradicator. I had to see what was going on. There's a lot going on there. Eradicator and uh, Daxamites. There's the comics, guys. Let's get on to this ridiculous double stack of figures. So I'm going to start up at the top. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start with this guy right here. You've already seen this one in the opening segment. Red Hulk. Speaking of things that cause a lot of stress to try and acquire this guy right here. Uh, so you heard the story. I finally got him. Don't use BrickSeek anymore. Apparently, if you're looking up uh, DPCIs for Legends, use Pop Finder. No E at the end. Pop, F-I-N-D-R. For those that don't like spelling things correctly pop finders how i found this one and i feel a little lucky that i found it because this thing is ridiculous right now make more hasbro and or target speaking of exclusives bam cuckoos two of them schoolgirl outfits oops i did it again Brittany, bitch <laughs> so there's the two of the cuckoos i need uh one more uh, I think uh, someone got the hookups for me and uh, might be sending me one or two more. But there's two cuckoos. Cuckoo! I had to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to do it. Their name is freaking Stepford Cuckoos. I got more um, Mythic Legions because I bought these two. Uh, I, th I keep calling them trolls, but they're ogres. They're not the gigantic trolls of the ogres. And I got two of those, and they look great. I'm staring at them right now. You can't see them. They're out of 
they're out of frame. They're gonna go somewhere in one of these Detolf cabinets as soon as I make some freaking room. But uh, I was kind of thinking of doing a whole uh, ogre, or goblin, I guess, versus uh, barbarians. So these next three are all kind of barbarian-ish, including this chick right here. Uh, and her name is Cassia. And I'm not gonna use that head because it looks ridiculous that she's wearing that helmet and the only thing that she's protecting right there are her, uh, yeah, that looks ridiculous. So I'm gonna have her with her uh, normal head, which you can't even see because it's packed away there. And then I've got uh, mini me Seamus right there. This guy's name is Torgan Red Finn. Torgan Red Finn. And he's freaking badass looking. Look at that freaking head sculpt. I love it. That's awesome. So I got those two guys, and they're gonna go with this big ass mother effer right here. And his name is Bolthar the Tower. And he's large. Here's one of my ogres, big boy. And there's Bolthar next to him. So they're probably about, what is that? Eight to 10 inches? I don't know, hold on. Eight to 10 inches. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, some DC multiverse figures I picked up. So I already have the uh, Batman, the Superman, the frickin' Hellbat, Batman, and I got Nightwing and Batman Who Laughs. There's Batman Who Laughs. Badass, and then we got Nightwing. I really like the McFarlane figures. I really, really like these. I was uh, not gonna collect these and then I started seeing them in stores and then I bought one and opened it up and I do like them a lot. So I'm probably gonna, I'm not gonna go all in on these, but I'm gonna pick up the ones that I really, really like. And then um, I'm also gonna pick up that McFarlane Spawn. I know that's a Mortal Kombat figure, but damn, that thing looks good. Uh, so I actually pre-ordered that at GameStop. I know that it's coming early at Walmarts, but uh, I put down five bucks at GameStop. I think the date they said was the 13th, which is only in a few days. I'm filming this on the 10th, by the way. So uh, we'll see about that. Earthrise. Uh, here's another line that I was not planning on collecting, but I started seeing these and I saw reviews and I saw them in person and I was like, hell yeah, let's do it, baby. So I got Starscream. There's the Starscream Earthrise figure. I got him, and then I got Grapple right there, and I got this one, Hoist, from DVT, so shout out to Dallas Vintage Toys, my buddy's there, DVT for the Hoist, badass. One of the reasons that I decided to go in on these is because of how much they remind me of the G1 versions. I mean, not only the bot, but the frickin' alt form, the, the car modes, really, really remind me of G1. So, very nostalgic. I mean, there's the star screen. Very, very nostalgic for me. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a showcase video. I promised a showcase video off the last one. I'm gonna be showing you some uh, WWE Elite figures in that. I'm gonna be showing you a couple Hot Toys figures. Whatever the hell frickin' you wanna see from this haul showcased, up close, comparison shots, all that stuff, good stuff. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see and then I'll, I'll uh, showcase that stuff. And then I got this one right here from GameStop. I, for some reason, didn't get it originally. I didn't pre-order it, so I was like, uh, yeah, I need another foot and I need the bladed foot, so I got this at GameStop. Pretty cool there. So I'm caught up on my 90s turtle stuff for now. All right, let's get to the uh, wrestling figures. So I got this one also at Dallas Vintage. I picked this one up, Juice and Thunder Liger. This is a Storm Collectibles. And holy frickin' ass, this thing is awesome. This thing is so frickin' awesome. I can't wait to open this one up. I watched a few reviews of this. I hope Storm does more wrestlers. But, um... This really makes me excited for like what uh, Boss Fight Studios is doing uh, with the uh, Lucha Brothers. 
But uh, I know that they did two other versions of Jushin Thunder Liger. They did a blue version, which is very, very, very limited, and it's going for like 300 bucks. And then they did a black version, an all black outfit on Ringside Collectible. So I'm not sure if it's sold out there already. I'm gonna try and get that one if it's still available. But I'm really, really happy with this version. This just is so awesome. And I had the pleasure of seeing him perform, uh, I think it was twice, live, in person. And it was watching a legend. It's like watching Hogan or Sting, uh, Flair perform. Jushin, Thunder Liger, just freaking absolutely awesome. So really, really happy for that, obviously. And then we got some uh, WWE Elite figures here. You can see who they are, so I'll go through these. I got Pete Dunne, the Bruiserweight, right there, and he's got the UK title. He is now part of the Broserweights with Riddle. They're the NXT Tag Team Champions. But there is Pete Dunne. Pretty cool. I was looking forward to that one. I never got the Target exclusive. They made a Target uh, Pete Dunne figure. That thing shot up to like over 100 bucks. Never got that one, never found it. Finn Balor, I got this one right here, and uh, I really, really like the jacket on this Balor. They've tried to do the jacket a couple times. They did a plastic one, which just looked ridiculous, and he couldn't bend his arms. There have been leather-looking, soft goods uh, leather jackets before. They kind of sucked, in my opinion, so it looks like they finally got it down, because that looks great right there. So there's Balor. And then I got one more WWE Elite figure. My local Walmart had uh, this entire wave and they were only $15.88 each. So they had that wave. Someone had already gotten the Goldberg, but they had the rest of the wave. Two AJs, they had Natty, they had Lince Dorado. But I wanted Andrade because I think he's awesome. He's a hell of a performer. Um, and that looks awesome right there. So I got this one for $15.88. And that kind of looks like Shardimus Prime right there. I mean, does it? I think it does. But uh, there you go. There's Andrade or Andrade or Andrade Cien Almas or whatever you want to call him. Cien. He's 100. Uh, New Mezco figure. Bam! So I got the PX Previews exclusive Green Lantern Mezco figure. Hal Jordan. Really, really awesome right there. I already have the Jon Stewart. So once again, if you want to see me showcase the Hal Jordan Mezco figure, I'll show you the comparison with the John Stewart. Uh, just let me know in the comments once again. And the last thing here in this showcase is a 3A figure. For those that don't know, these are basically Hot Toys figures. They're high-end, extremely, extremely detailed Transformers figures. And let's see. I already took them out of the box. Can you see? Oh, what's that right there? He's already in the detolf. So if you want to see a showcase and you want to see how incredibly badass this Optimus Prime figure is, I'll show you a comparison with that Bumblebee. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. It's freaking awesome. And I can't wait for more 3A uh, Transformers figures. It's a figure. It's not a Transformer because it doesn't transform into an alt mode. So it's basically an action figure. It's a super, super deluxe, uh, detailed, sweet, gorgeous, beautiful action figure is what it is. It's insane. And it has a freaking ton of articulation for being uh, die cast, extremely detailed, just a, a good amount of articulation. So is that it? I think that's it, guys. So yeah, um, I did not film me looking for this piece of crap um, because it was very frustrating and I went to many targets uh, right after they would say that they're, they have one in stock and they wouldn't be able to find it in the back. And I, I took footage a couple times and I was just like, screw it, I deleted it. But I'm glad that I finally got this guy. Make more guys, make more. You're printing money with this thing. Everyone that's a Marvel Legends collector wants this thing. So I'll probably showcase this one in the next one just to show you the difference between the Grey Hulk, the GameStop, was it a GameStop exclusive? I think it was a GameStop exclusive Grey Hulk, and then uh, the green one from the Wolverine 2-pack. So, oh, good lord. I got a lot of freaking plastic by my feet right now. 
lot of comics to read. This might be one of the final times you see comics uh, at the beginning of my haul videos because I actually decided to stop collecting comic books for the time being. I'm going to catch up because my read pile is two long boxes of comics. So I have to catch up. The more I buy, the less I'm gonna be able to catch up. So I'm taking a break from comics. If there's anything that comes out, for all you comic book readers, when I do these videos in the comments, if there's a comic that I need to pick up, that I am doing myself a disservice by not picking up and reading, please let me know in the comments so that I go get it, or let me know on Facebook, or let me know on frickin' Instagram. Just let me know. Um, one more thing. For those that did not see this video, uh, YouTube did not push this video uh, that I did. It was, I think it was my last video. Uh, but it, they didn't push it because it was under 10 minutes and basically if you make a video on YouTube and it's under 10 minutes You you only have to hope that it uh, gets seen organically because they don't push the video Thanks YouTube you frickin <laughs> Anyway, I'm giving this figure away I did a full review on this figure and I got a second one to give away So I'm giving this figure away this very figure away Check out my last video, it's a Venom review. So look at my videos, look at the last video. Follow the instructions in that video to enter yourself into winning this figure. I'm gonna be giving this away pretty soon, so don't wait too long. But I just wanted to uh, let you all know because this one's longer than 10 minutes, so YouTube will actually promote this sucker. But that's it for now, guys. This was fun. I can't wait to take these things out of the package, do a showcase. Let me know what you want to see. I'll show you guys whatever you want to see up close and personal. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. I'm on my way to 20K. I know subs don't really matter, but it's a goal. And uh, when I first started this and I first started getting people watching these videos, I had like a pie in the sky thing of, that'd be cool if I hit like 20,000 subs and the only reason I thought of that is because I am a big hockey fan and most hockey arenas seat 20,000 people so the way that I thought about it is that if I had 20,000 subscribers I could technically fill an entire hockey arena and that's the only reason that I actually thought of that and wanted that it was just a ridiculous goal but anyway I'm so close to it now why the hell not try and promote it I'll do a giveaway uh, at 20k, I'll give some stuff away. It'll be uh, fun. We'll do, we'll have a little party. I might dance a little bit. I might have a little drinky drink, a little action. We'll see. Uh, but that's it for now, guys. I'm rambling. You guys want to go do other stuff, watch other videos, so go do that. I'll miss you guys until the next video. But adios. Till then. That seemed really cheesy. Let's try that again. Adios, motherfuckers. Hey.